Hello everyone, this is Ocean here, and this is a Minecraft Chunk Defense, but the new 1.17 version, and this is a Dream Home Chunk, and let's see what we find today. Alright, so the farm is actually going pretty well, as you can already see by here, and the goal is actually to extend this place a little bit, and which oh, I got a tree, nice. It's quite a big tree, so a lot more wood supply, which is always a good news. So, I'm gonna need a new pickaxe, uh, like that, and I need to fix this axe over here, and let's do this bad boy here, swap off. So, I'm planning on to, um, wait a minute, I think I will have more dirt if I, yep, there we go, I got more dirt here, uh, I could easily turn them into dirt. So, the plan is, I want to extend this farming area and just so I could get a lot more food a lot better and faster I think this should hydrate up until here isn't it uh, wait a minute where was the water block oh did I just block off the water yep I just block off the water did I um yeah just block off the water wow um <laughs> Okay, uh, oh well, uh, you know what, it's fine, we're gonna get this water down here, and, uh, hopefully it's gonna, it's gonna connect? No, I don't think so, yeah, mm, I might have messed it up a little bit, I mean, I don't mean to destroy the water source I had, but I think I accidentally destroyed the water source there. I mean, I could turn the iron into, yep, you know what, let's do it. I have to do it. I know this is not the best method, but I have to turn this iron into um, bottle kit so I could transfer the water so I could save my farmland. Hopefully, I could save my farmland. Okay, iron, iron, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, let's do that. Make an iron bucket. Water bucket, yep, 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 yep. Come on. Ah, come on, just give me a water bucket. All right, okay, a bucket, a bucket, a bucket. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get the water, put the water here. Actually, I'm going to take this water for a sec. I'm not going to put it here and put one over here. So it's going to be an infinite water source. Uh, what's the benefit of infinite water source? Well, not much of a thing, but I think it's definitely going to be a long-term benefit having an infinite water source somewhere uh, close by. And I have some wood that's turning into charcoal later on, so I can use it as a you know coal for lights. Because definitely gonna need more light in here. And I don't believe this little cave will be everything that you have in this dream house chunk. So there might be more. Oh. Just speaking of, there might be more things I found a diamond in the wall. Alright. Uh, okay, that's. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna make some torch. Okay. Yep, that's uh, really nice. I was not expecting to find another diamond there. Guess I need more iron so I could um, finally have something that I could use to... Um, wait a minute, should I move this water? You know what? It's fine. I can leave the water there. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Or actually, if I move the water here, this might be better. Yeah, let's try this. So if I move the water over here, yep, which I could block off this part, and I could get more dirt over here, and I could extend out that way, just a couple more blocks, as long as under my staircase, it's all good, and then I will have more place to farm some food, well, which is the carrots here, because um, I'm going to run out of apple really quick if I don't have a new food source. Things not gonna look. Oh wow! What happened to the block? It glitched out really badly. Okay, so let's turn them into farming area. Put some carrots down. And what else do I need? Eh, let's do carrots and some wheat as well. Cause bread also tastes pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, put the cobble slab on the lava so I'm not gonna walk in there and die by accident. I might just get a water bucket with me because um, 
Why not? Do I really need some better things? I mean, I think if I dig around, I might find some. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to step on the pressure plate. You know, I think if I just kind of go around for a little bit, I might be able to find some more interesting things around here. Uh, who knows what I will find, to be honest. Really don't. If I dig all the way to the other end and just find a wall of bedrock, it's actually a little disappointing. So I'm actually hoping there's... Oh, iron. Okay, great. I was hoping to get some iron as well. Like, I'm really hoping there's something on the other end of this place so I could, you know, um, get some things and only three iron. Yeah, I was kind of expecting a little bit more, but I think it's fine, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Oh, another. Wow. Um, lava. There's a lots of lava here. Wow. Makes me wondering if there's something on the other end for other end for sure. What if I just dig a like a two block pathway? All the way to the other end of the bedrock. If I find something, I can grab. If I don't find anything, it's just bedrock. Go. Oh. All right. We're talking. We're talking business. Oh. Oh. Whoa. That's a lot of water. And oh boy. Look at this place. Lava. I don't feel too safe around lava. Micro poop. And oh wow. There's quite a few diamonds. Okay. First thing I think I should do is definitely um <laughs> don't make myself bow into the lava because um it's not gonna be great that's for sure never want that happen right okay um um let's do that okay great um hey not bad there's diamonds more diamonds. More diamond, better the more diamond, the better the game gets, isn't it? Um, I have to really think about what I want to do with the diamonds I have. A diamond armor, possibly, or a diamond sword, so it's like the you know, it's a pretty early on in the game. A diamond sword is definitely going to help me kill the mob a lot more easier since I will be able to attack a lot more faster using a sword, not an axe, and um, it's gonna last longer. I know making a diamond sword is not putting the diamond to its maximum use, but I don't think I have a better way to use a diamond. Like, if you guys have any suggestion about how should I use a diamond, leave comments below. Otherwise, I guess I'm just gonna turn them into a sword. And if I have leftover, it depends on how much, because I didn't keep track of them. I think I'm gonna make some armor for myself. Might have just cut the tree down first so I could, uh, you know, get more sapling and continue growing the trees. Even though I did bought some log from the shop with a credit, but more trees, better the life. Like Minecraft, this game is about to mine cobblestone and planting trees, cut them down. This is like the main purpose of the game. No, I'm joking. It's not the main purpose of the game, but that's what I do like 80% of my time spending in the game because you know I like to collect material and build some things and that's going to require a lot of stone wood and just material that you will really find easily without spending time you really need to put the time investments in order to get what you want yeah and I, like, that's a good looking tree I wish I could keep. And okay, I guess I just got enough to upgrade my credit. And I might buy a block of dirt. Because I, I mean, a stack of dirt. Because I don't have too much dirt left. It's, is it weird that I'm buying dirt? I mean, people buy dirt in real life to, you know, just for indoor potting. So... I mean, that's what I do, too. Definitely don't feel it's too weird for me to buy dirt. However, I wish I could cook the potatoes. I wish. Oh, I, I could. I could cook the potatoes.
is on top of the campfire on the house. But how do I get up there? Great question. Um, let's do that. Hey, another nice little staircase on top of here. And cook some potatoes. Might as well collect some of my dirt I left on top of here. Okay, we got four cooked potatoes. That's gonna bake potatoes. Is it really baking? I kind of just tossed them in a campfire, so I think it's considered baking. I mean, it might get really charred, but still tastes nice, right? And oh, wow, you survived that. Impressive. Uh, let's start in my new axe, start using it, and then I will have some credits so I can consider on what kind of upgrade would I do to myself. A tool upgrade or a weapon upgrade or a armor upgrade. I think in terms of tools, stone axe works quite nice because you could actually two shot a zombie if you do critical hits. Diamond sword, yeah, I mean, usually you won't jump for the diamond sword because you could swing around a diamond sword a lot faster, and that's advantage of all a sword because we're not using an axe, it's a sword. Uh, two more baked potato left. I might need to invest more, more bone meal, perhaps. Oh, wait, there's another room zombie. I'm waiting for to get teleported. I forgot about you guys. It's fine. I remember you. Don't be sad. I remember you. Alright, and last boy. There we go. 42 credit. Not too bad. I mean, I got three raw iron I could smell that into something and then I don't know what am I supposed to do is there anything to buy here I don't really think there's like benefit of anything to be exactly there isn't really any benefit of anything creepers I mean I might go to the round for chicken junkie but I don't think I will do it today I don't have enough uh, everything to do it like i don't have enough seed and oh apple okay great don't really need apple though yeah let's turn this into actual iron and i can use that to make a pickaxe to harvest some diamond and figure out what i would do with the diamonds hopefully plus i do need some charcoal as well so i think it's not so bad i am not really wasting the coal that much what should i do with this iron Iron pickaxe just so I can mine diamond anytime I want. Yeah, why not? I mean, I don't really see a reason why I'm going to turn it into axe or anything else. So, I guess pickaxe it is. And then we could collect the diamond we've been steering at for ages. I might just get rid of that as well so I could put this down as a farmland finally. Alright, another diamond. And I decided to expand this out a little bit. Why not? Okay, which was... Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, that's really deep diamond. Okay, so three diamond in total so far. And there's more. There's more. Um, one more diamond here. Anything else? One more here. And five diamond in total. Not too bad. I'm really not comfortable I walk over. Oh, wait a minute. There's more diamond. Heck yeah, there's more diamond. Six diamond in total. Why well, should really consider turning that into a helmet or boots or something? Um, uh, hmm. I mean, I need one diamond for the enchanting table, so that's five diamond afterwards, and I could make a sword and an axe. Hmm. I mean, this is a helmet, that's for sure, but helmet's not going to give me that much armor. Um, it's like same as a boot, and it's actually one less. But, hmm, I don't know, if I got an enchanting table, 
I mean, what if I just get a villager? Because they do sell villagers in the shop in this new update. So I could make a chicken farm, get some credit, buy a villager, and trade some good weapon and armor with the villagers. So I could just keep the diamond here for now. That work? Kinda. Alright, I mean, it's only some creepers, so let's take care of them really quickly. Nice and easy. And, um, we'll see how many credit I will get. So he's the last boy, and let's just do one more hit, and that's all I take. Three gunpowder. Can't really make much of anything, but it's fine. I'm not gonna expect much from it. Uh, slimes, yeah, they're not bad with credits. Um, yeah, so wait, what kind of new building block I had? Yeah, not much I need. Uh, how much was a villager? If the villager is over, like, I can't remember, but. Yeah. Yeah, 1.8, oh well, 1875. So it's not that much. If I make a chicken farm, it's not gonna be too hard. So I could do the investment. But, however, Ambro are like, um, 4 for 8. Well, I mean, one Ember for eight credit. So if I need to, like, 24, 28 Ember, that's, like, 200 plus credit at least. Plus the experience. And I can't really get experience easily other than maybe make a mob farm. So I could, you know, f feed the mobs. I mean, you know, the animals, they're going to give you a bit more experience when you uh, produce more of them. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Um... But definitely worth a try. I do need to figure out a place to, um, I won't want to use the word trap because like kidnapping the villagers. So I do want to, um, find a good place for the villager to live there. Maybe a underground life. So it's, you know, it's going to be safer for them. And I think this little place looks, uh, not bad, but not ideal. I might just dig a new house for the villagers. Yeah, I'm gonna dig a new house for the villagers and oh potato great um, Should I plant the potatoes I mean give me it will give me more potatoes in the future. So I think it's worth a try If you guys want to watch more chunk defense in the future Definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon make sure it's on so you get notified whenever I upload and over here on the left is a video I think you will enjoy on the right is my most recent upload. Check them out. See you next time. Bye-bye.